possibility. And there is a question of paternity, which is why you're here. And what is troubling me in this moment, I have done my best to be patient. I have been frustrated. I have been trying to be compassionate because you all are young people. And now you've gotten yourself into this whole big drama with adult situations and adult problems. You can't even string two good sentences together in this courtroom about the situation, much less be prepared to take care of a living child, this beautiful little boy, almost two years old. And this is babies having babies, and this has got to stop. <laughs> now, Mr. Johnson, you say you got more than one child. How many children do you have? I have four. I, with Jabari, I have five in all. So you got four other children. Yes, ma'am. And Jabari would make five? Yes, ma'am. Can I and you're 20 now? years old? Yes. Oh, these uh -uh. are the big kids, you want. They're not his. They're not his. I wish they could do blood tests, too, but they don't want to. You're saying that some of the other ones you yes, feel like are not his? Yes, ma'am. But the fact that he is in the running for the position as yeah. father, and I don't mean it. It's not a joke. I mean it. The fact that you are in the running to be the father means that you admittedly slept with these women without protection because if you use protection, you would know that's not me. Hmm. Right. Yes, and so that goes back to my point of you all are young people, potentially five children at 20 years old. That's unacceptable. You all aren't dating anymore, are you? No, Your Honor. <laughs> it's a lesson learned. It's a lesson learned. That's what I'm talking about. You make mistakes in life. But I will tell you this, this can be the last time you make this mistake if you make that decision. Raising a child ain't no joke. I have a child at 41. Some days it takes me to my knees. I don't know what I'm gonna do. Yes. And I got one. Cause some days it's just that hard. And you're responsible for another human being in this world. They're looking at you. Everything revolves around you. You don't just change your own life, you change the life of your family, your family's lives, the child's life. Everybody has to chip in, everybody has to be responsible. Your mother's just here, Mr. Johnson, saying she doesn't even know for certain if the other children are truly her grandchildren. She doesn't know for certain. And I'ma really, really drop a dime here. Matter of fact, I'ma drop a dollar. And I want you to pick this up. Our people historically were used to be baby factories. A man like you, a tall, young, handsome black man like yourself, would be on a plantation making babies, right? Yes, ma'am. You are no longer hmm. supposed to be a baby producing machine. Hmm. Do you understand? Yes, you are. You have a future. You have a calling in this life. And it's more than just being a father to a whole bunch of kids you can't take care of. Do you hear me? Yes, ma'am. And Miss Short? You can't say nothing and you just burst out in tears. You so overwhelmed, I don't know what to do. I don't know, I don't know what to put you on punishment or, 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 or hug you. I don't know what to do with you. But when you don't have purpose in your life and when you don't understand that there is more to do in this life than lay down with boys and make babies, that you can go to college and you can make something of yourself and you can have a job and you can run a corporation and you can be the president of the United States, then you don't sit around. And not even sit around, lay around with young men who are busy with multiple women. Because you're better than that.